Hello, welcome to my channel, Analyze with Power, where I attempt to share some of the information that I have in my head. Um, my name is Daneli Ramos, and I am very excited to be able to do this with you guys. So you probably are here because you saw the coronavirus dashboard or report that I created. Um, I do want to start by saying thank you for all the positive feedback that I received and all of the comments and for sharing it. And it's, it was very kind of you guys to do that. I wasn't expecting that, but um, it is a pleasure for me to be able to share with you how I created the dashboard. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to, I thought that the best way is to split it into three, three sections. We'll talk about first how to connect to GitHub, how did I get the data? get the CSV file, a little bit about the data model and how I have my data model set up. Then we will talk about the DAX measures, maybe not all of them, but just a few of them. And then lastly, the data visualizations that we, you know, that we are using. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to open a Power BI file that I have here. This is empty. There's no data in there. And the first thing that we need to do, oops, the first thing that we need to do is get our data. So um, I already know what the data is because I've used it a lot. Um, but the first thing is, this is the data source that we're using. And what we're trying to do is to get the raw link to be able to connect to this um, data, data that's available online. So I'm going to go ahead and click. These are the three that we need confirmed that's and recovered. And this is by date and it's an aggregated number, right? So we have 14, 22. So it's like as of that date and then as of the next day. So what we need is the raw link. To get that, we are gonna click on raw and that's gonna take us to the link. So this is actually the link that we need. I'm gonna copy that. Now come over here and say, hey, get data. Oops, it's taking a second. I rather do it like this. Get data from the web. Paste link. And that's going to go ahead and get the data. So I am going to go ahead and call this confirm because that's the first one that we are looking at. And I will use first row as headers in here and transform my data. I want my data to be, oops, that's not what I need to do. I need to unpivot the other columns. That's it. Here, I'm gonna call this date. That's my date. Transform it into a date. And I wanna make sure this is a value. This is a, this value is a whole number, which it is. So once we do that, I do want to show you something related to your source or pulling data from a CSV file. When you pull data from a CSV file, it has a specific number of columns that it's pulling. Um, so whenever this data updates the next day, it's not going to pick up the next day because it's only set to 50 columns. So I'm going to go ahead and set it to like a large number, like 5,000. Maybe there's other ways to do this. There could be, um, but this is a simple dashboard that I created. So I just, you know, I'm using, this is what I'm, the method that I'm using or the workaround. When you do that, you are going to notice that when you apply all of your steps, your dates is erring, erring out. So I click load more. It's telling me that, hey, we couldn't format some of the information. And the reason for that is this, when you promote your headers, all of those other thousands of columns that I included are blank and they have an underscore and they're not really a date. So that's why it gives you an error. So what we will do is two things. We are going to say we're on pivoting the data and I'm going to say, hey, remove any empty cells and then something else I want to do is say hey do, does not contain that underscore that we know the data contains so let's go ahead and say hey I don't want you to include that again this is my workaround 
you can do this however way you want to do it. It's just the way that I chose to do it. So then let's see, change type, and now there's no errors in there. Okay. I can actually duplicate this. But before I do that, let me do one more thing. Um, I want to, at the end of the day, I'm going to go ahead and get my confirmed, my death, and my recovered, and put them into one single table. So I'm going to go ahead and add a status so that I know what this is. So this one, the status is confirmed. So there you go. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to rename this to covered and I'm going to rename this to S. Now, if you follow the links, you'll notice that the only thing that changes at the end of it is actually the word. So I'm going to change that to covered. Oops. And of course, I'm going to change this also to recovered. And then let's go to this and I change this here. And I'll do the same down here. And, and always make sure that you do check your data. Um, I've already done this, so that's why I am not double checking it but I, I already, you know, checked it before. So let's go ahead and append this as new. Let's do more tables. I'm gonna go ahead and add that and click okay. Mm, sorry, looks like it didn't do something. Let's do that again. For some reason it's not, there you go. Click OK. This is going to be my master table. Now, I do want to mention I have um, a few tables oops, in my model. Let me go ahead and show you. So I have a master table. This is the one that I'm going to use for my trends so I can see what's happening. As you can see, this is it's got the date in there and it's got a, a date for each day. And then I have a latest table, which is my master, but I'm picking up only the latest date. I built a location table and a status. That way I can link these two. I am not linking on date because I do not want to filter by date. Um, I also have a table here based on the data from the CDC about the common flu, which this data is coming from here site and it's literally this i copied it pasted it i'm gonna go ahead and for you to enter you can literally just say hey oops let's go here back here enter data save it there and i'm gonna call the cdc flu oops i misspell that um, I included an H order here because I want to make sure that this is in the right order. Otherwise, Barbie, I would, you know, put that this 18 as a second. Um, so let's go ahead and close and apply. I do want to show you, um, I like to keep my models clean. So I have like a data and this is what I load. I have some other helpers, which is data that I, I am not loading. For example, my desk, I they are included in the refresh, but they're not loaded in the data. And I have a measures table so that I can keep my measures by themselves. So something that I do want us to see, let's go ahead and go in here, is this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take this age, age group and Let's just put the, the synthematics. So if you see, if I try to sort this, it still doesn't work. So you see, it's not, it's not doing it the right way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, I want you to sort by my age order. And now there you go. It's pretty and it's doing the right thing. So 
Now you know how to get the data directly from GitHub. I will share some more information about the model that I built. Um, but I, and I'll also share this connection, con these connections that I created. That way you can use it and create your own dashboard. And I just want to say thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, general questions, just let me know. Um, and I'll move over to the second part. So I hope to see you there. Have a good day.